The following review has been approved by Lord Carnage and the best of Classic Game Room. Welcome to CGR Comics from Classic Game Room. Prepare to enjoy the review of one of the most impressive manga I've read in years. This is Biomega 1. This is what happens when one of your manga gets turned into a popular anime. All of a sudden, everyone starts buying and reading your other manga, like Biomega, from Tsutomu Nihai, creator of Knights of Sidonia. After I read all of them, I immediately bought Biomega, and holy crap, this is amazing. It's not as approachable as Knights of Sidonia, but I think the artwork is twice as good. It's billed as a science fiction horror epic, but it's really not that scary. It's more weird than anything else. This takes us to some terrible dystopian vision of the future where an awful virus has swept over the earth, turning most of the people into what they call drones or zombies. And after several incredible panoramic shots, Nihai is really good at those, we meet the series protagonist, Zoichi Kano, who works for, you guessed it, Toa Heavy Industry. Are they in all his books? But by now I've actually read most of his stuff, and it's sort of like the same thing over and over again. The characters all look more or less the same, the stories are all bizarre, and he seems to have a thing for bears, but he's really good at it. And the best thing about Biomega is that unlike Blame, it's still affordable. You can easily find these books translated into English. Here we meet a talking bear with a sniper rifle, that's Kozlov Grebnev. And Zoichi is, as we learn, a synthetic human, although you really don't know what that means until a bit later in the series. There's six of these books in total. Trust me when I say after you read the first one, you'll, you'll want to read them all. Just don't expect it to make a whole hell of a lot of sense by the time it's over. The first two books are by far the most approachable and make the most sense. After that, it just gets downright bizarre. But it's fun to read the whole way through, or at least fun to look at. Not only is his penmanship remarkable, but the way he shows action with static images is, uh, is simply amazing. He, he's, he's on a level with Shiro Masamune. In, in my opinion, these guys are two of my favorite artists. I think Shiro Masamune is a better writer and de develops better characters, more interesting characters with more depth. But sadly, he's, he's just drawing porn these days. And if you kind of miss his work, his old work with Ghost in the Shell, read this. It's different, but it's got that visual impact that just transports you somewhere else. If you're coming from the Knights of Sidonia side of things, I think this is a fun read because it's, it's totally different than Knights of Sidonia, but you'll also see a lot of similarities. I'm currently reading his earlier series, Blame, which feels like an unofficial prequel to Buy Omega. The printing and paper quality of Biomega are excellent, and if you think it looks cool on screen here, then you'll enjoy reading Biomega Volume 1. Or at least you'll enjoy looking at the pretty pictures. The Best of Classic Game Room is now on DVD, Blu-ray, and Hyper Laser Vision Album Set.